Heidi ho there friends Bobby here today hey folks today we're gonna do a review video on this husky brand splitting axe okay this is a four pound splitting axe that I picked up at uh, Home Depot okay and we're gonna take it out here to our wood pile and give it a try today now friends I will let you know I'm not an expert lumberjack although I'm kind of dressed like a lumberjack today don't let that fool you. I'm not an expert lumberjack, but I have uh, split some wood in my in my days, okay? And we are definitely going to, we got this big pile of maple here and some oak. If you'll bring the camera right on here, over here, we're gonna uncover a little bit of it. And um, we're gonna split up some today because we do plan on um, burning some through January and February. January, February, maybe a little bit into March, and then that's about all we have to worry about here in the South. So let's get started. All right. Let's open a little cage around my wood pile. I have to keep my wood pile encaged because I got a crazy dog that likes to uh, tear up my wood pile. He'll chase lizards and snakes and everything else and just makes a mess of my wood pile. So I block, I'll lock him out of here. Let's see if we can dig some out here right here. Here, let's see. We're going to use this thing to split on. Alright. Let's see what we've got. Two we bigger pieces out here. And another one right there. Ooh, that's a really big one here. I don't know if I want to try to do that or not. Just start off with a little one so it don't look too bad. Folks, I, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, I've already used this thing a little bit and uh, I like it, okay? And I think for someone who's hardly ever done a whole lot of wood splitting, hang on, let me tie my shoe right quick. Anyway, I guess it was already tied. Anyway, <laughs> um, for someone who hasn't cut a lot of uh, wood or whatever, this will probably be easy to use for them, okay? One thing I like about it, it's got a real nice grippable handle here. You can really hang on to this thing, okay? So we're gonna go, go ahead and get started and I'll just show you how this thing works. Now, see how well that come in there? Nice and easy. Give me another blast. I should have smacked that a little harder. Pretty easy on this. 
my place looking here before the end of the season. I ain't gonna a couple good pieces. Okay, that one. There's some other good big ones. Right, let's put these two, we'll probably wrap this thing up. Folks, so far, I definitely like this axe. It's one of the best ones I've ever used, although I haven't used too many in my life. But I like this, this is really good. Okay, I love that. That four pounds seems to be a nice weight too. Nice weight. All right, man, that feels good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We got a nice little pile going here. Okay, now, see if we can split this one. <coughs> I think we will. It's already opening up. Ah, oh yeah, look at there folks. How well it split that. I think what I like the most about this, I guess that's why it's called split axe see how it tapers out and then it goes back like that so when it goes in I guess it kind of spreads things apart and helps it to go ahead and split on open there we go split him up a couple more times I'm having fun I've never had so much fun splitting wood in my life Okay, I'm back up here, doing my time again. Okay. Well, didn't quite hit it where I wanted to. Maybe a little more time, or maybe I can just break it up. One more split. We'll get it this time. By golly. Or my name ain't Mill Hillbilly. Told you. One more right here. Good workout, guys. Go get in shape. Split some wood. I missed that so bad. I missed that one so bad. Let's split this one here. Ooh, yeah, ooh. That felt hard to do right there. We split though. Let's hit it a little harder. Ah. Well, that got a piece of kindling off of it anyway. Like I say, I am no expert. My aim is not as good as a man that would do this every day for a living. And we can, I'm gonna leave that alone before I get hurt on that piece. Let's try this one. <coughs> okay, here we go. All right, guys. I think I've about had it here for a little bit. I got my heart rate up, which is a good thing. I might get out here every morning after my morning run and uh, on nice mornings and split a little bit of this till I get all this split up. Folks, I want to thank you for watching the video today. Let me finish talking about this axe one time. I walk right here. Actually, this thing cost about $27, I do believe, at your local Home Depot. I think for the money, it was money well spent. I didn't even try to sharpen it yet, okay? I could have probably 
got out there and honed an even sharper edge on it when I bought it. But I haven't done that yet. We might make a video on that. But uh, right there, right out of the box, I think that this is a good axe for anyone who just wants to chop a little wood around their house, okay? Um, I do want to show you something right quick. Like I say, I'm no expert, but I do know a couple things. And I want to show you a couple safety tips right quick. Uh, let me move this out of the way. I always recommend chopping everything on a flat surface or another log about a foot high. And you don't ever want to be swinging at an angle from this turn. You don't want to be swinging like towards yourself, okay? Like that. You don't want to be hitting, trying to aim at a piece of wood because in case you miss, guess what happens? You're gonna end up hitting your foot or your leg or taking out your shin bone or something. Bring the camera back over here, Marie. If you'll notice what I do, bring the camera like, come right around here. I stand here, I got my feet farther than shoulder width apart, okay? And then I'm putting a piece of wood up here like so. And then I'm coming down in such a fashion, this hand stays down like this, this comes up. And this is the motion right here, okay? I'm not coming back this way. I'm not coming back this way or this way or anything. If anything, I may not get as much power as some of these professionals or whatever, people do it every day, but I'm not gonna cut my daggum foot off, right? So we're, it's always gonna be a motion down this way. This arm's gonna stay pretty much straight, okay? So here we go. See where the ax ended up at? It was aiming toward the ground. It's not coming back toward me in any way, all right? I'm not gonna cut my foot off with an ax. So just always remember that. Sammy is trying to chew the siding off of his doghouse. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that dog. He's in his box because he got out yesterday dug underneath the fence, went into a neighbor's yard. Anyway, folks, I want to thank you for watching the video today. And if you're going to do any uh, splitting of wood, be safe about it, okay? That last little bit that I showed you right there, that's the best thing I know to tell you to be safe, okay? Just don't ever have that ax coming back towards you in any way, shape, or form, okay? And make sure if you got other people around you helping you, Make sure that they're safely out of the way, okay? Safety first, guys. And actually, I probably should have had some safety glasses on today as well. That would be another good thing to have on while you're uh, splitting lumber. You don't want to get a sliver of uh, uh, wood chip in your eye. So have a great day. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. 2020 is going to be a great year, okay? We're going to be putting some really cool videos on here. So tell all your friends. If they haven't already subscribed, go ahead and tell them to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.